Please enter your consumer number followed by the hash key. If you don't have your consumer number handy, please press zero or hold. Thank you. Your consumer number has been accepted. To open a new account or if you're moving house, press one. To enter our automated self service option where you can find out your phone bills or enter a customer meeting, press two. For all overdue account inquiries, press three. To pay by credit card using our phone service option, press four. For all other inquiries, press five. Calls into our call center are recorded for account management, training, and improving our services to you. Awesome. Hi, you're speaking with Courtney. Hi, Courtney. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Box of fluffy ducks, I am. Um, <laughs> I've just had a, a, well, over the last few days, actually, we've had Trust Power calling us, wanting us to are switch you? over. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm sort of left on the crux of a question before I do so. Um, and that is, we currently owe, I think it's 400 and something, I think is the balance. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, and obviously there'd be a final bill if we shut things down, but we pay through, yeah. we pay through direct debit, mm -hmm. um, have done for years. And obviously, I mean, they're offering us a 15% discount and all that sort of jazz through direct debit. And we get yeah. 10, 10 from you guys. Um, yep. um, my question is the 300 or whatever odd in debt that we are still with you guys, would that be taken out in a lump sum through direct debit? Or can um, we work so out it some... It would be up to you. Um, actually, I might access your account just to have a look if you don't mind. I'll just need your full name and your password. Uh, my person's full name is Mark. Great, thank you. Okay, won't be a moment. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, yeah, cool. So you're paying $100 currently. Um, okay, so what will happen there is you can either leave the direct debit going um, until it pays off the final amount and then cancel it, um, mm -hmm. or you can set up a one-off payment, one-off manual payment for whatever's left on the account, get that done, and then it cancels after that. So it's totally up to you um, which way you go about it, or you can cancel it now and pay it manually. Um, it's totally up to you how you how you did want to go about it. The outstanding balance at the time of cancellation, could that be set up as a uh, direct debit payment to be a lesser amount than what's already set, being $100 a week? Yep, yep. So what we can do is we can um, cancel an alter payment. So we can set up a, pay, a manual payment for whatever's left on the account. Um, or you, say you've paid it off down to $80, we can change a $100 payment to $80. Okay, so um, could, could we like make a, a lower offer of say a 15 or a $20, what's affordable to us so we don't set ourselves in the, in the blink so to speak um, and have that come out at a direct debit to you guys until it's gone? Until it's cleared? Yeah. Uh, would you, what, I guess what I'm saying is what's yep. the lowest amount that we could offer? <laughs> or that, you know, obviously no one wants to give a lowest amount. We would offer something like 10 or $15 a week to pay it off through a direct debit until such time yep. as it's cleared, would that be acceptable? Um, what I can do, um, I don't know the exact ins and outs of that, but what I can do is I can transfer you through to our moving team because they actually deal with closed accounts. Oh, okay. Um, so they may be, they can give you uh, like exact information if you'd like. I can put you through to them and they can discuss payment options for what's uh, what's okay after an account is closed if you'd like. That would be awesome, Courtney. Thank you so okay. much. Cool. Won't be a moment. <laughs>
Yes, Vicky. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Oh, a box of fluffies. <laughs> good, good. Let me just have a quick read of the notes here. Mm -hmm. Right, so you're um, looking at switching away, is that right? Yeah, well, we've been getting chased by trust power now for a couple of years, but um, in the last few days they've been quite persistent and after looking at all the figures, we're saving about four hundred odd dollars over a two-year period to do so, oh, okay. um, and getting offered a fifteen dollar, uh, sorry, fifteen percent discount on the direct debit. So, I know that if I was to close the the account today and do the switch over when they call back later on today, um, that there would be three hundred or four hundred odd dollars in debit still owing you guys. And my concern is, um, obviously, whether or not you guys would take that all in a lump sum, or the way it is still continuing at a hundred dollars a week until it's cleared, or whether or not you would accept, which would be suitable to us better, is a ten or a fifteen dollar direct debit until until the balance clears, because obviously paying you guys the hundred dollars and, and then the new power company would be a bit much. Yes, yeah. Let me just have a look at this for you, just one moment. Sure. You get what I mean, eh? Yeah, I definitely get what you mean, eh? Cool. So I, I guess yeah. What's the minimum requirement? I mean, I could I know I could offer five cents, but. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and the, um, what's the direct debit? See, um, the minimum that we could offer, we could lower it to. Would, oh, what did I say? It was sorry, just one moment. Completely, it was sorry, just one moment. Would be ninety four dollars so, uh, a week. So the minimum that you guys would accept for That's a direct the minimum debit that we would accept, yeah. on, on the three hundred or whatever balance would be owing. Um. Oh, what's it? Uh, What's the balance? Let me just see. I must be looking in the wrong place. We were in credit until the last bill, which rolled through on the 23rd of June. We were in credit about 300 bucks, but now it's gone back to about, I think it's three or... There will be a couple more days, obviously, since the 23rd of June to go on. But my When guess, were you in credit? Because it's never been in credit. Well, I was looking at the bill where it said we were in credit 430, and then the next bill came along of 400 and something, or 169. So we've never been in credit. No. So what was the point of paying by direct debit then? Well, what, what it is is by paying by direct debit, yeah. and that it means that you'll never no credit action will happen on your account. Oh, okay. If there's an overdue balance on your account. Because you see, we, when we started paying direct debit three years ago, we we were just keeping our bills, you know, balanced blanked each month and paying it that way. And then we went to direct debit, and over the first odd year, because I think I believe that you you do your direct debits over a yearly term. Is that um, right? Is that we ended up owing you guys like six hundred dollars after the first year because it had accrued. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously the direct debit jumped from, you know, well, over the period of years it's jumped from $54 up to now $100 a week. Yeah. So to me, paying by direct debit, it's not really actually put us in any, granted we're not getting chased by credits, but we weren't getting chased by creditors in the first place. Um, we were just keeping our bill balanced at the end of each month to a zero balance, but now through direct debit it seems that we're left in, as you've just said, we've never been in credit. So what, what was the point? Well, what, what, <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? Having it regularly coming out each yeah. week and um, never been in credit action. So, the, so, so I, I, I suppose... I suppose should show you a balance each month. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose the only bonus was that we were getting a 10% discount. Oh, yeah, yeah, well that's true. You, always, you get that always if, even if um, you weren't on direct debit and you paid on or before the due date. Yeah, yeah, well we were getting that most of the time. Granted we couldn't make it on the due date all the time, but... Yeah, for the majority of it we were. So, you know, when after the first year of paying direct debit and we're thinking, you know, it was good that we set up by direct debit, but uh -huh. then we get a balance and it seems kind of ominous. I think at one point there it got up to almost $1,000 in debt after paying the bill. Well, see, when looking at your last bill, which was, due, which was processed on the 8th of June, it does say your closing balance is $603.48. Hmm. So yeah, I've, so I've just looked on the online invoice that the Genesis Energy gave me today when I looked and it said there was uh, um, 330 something in credit and then there was a charge. It basically brought us back into debt as soon as we were in credit, a couple of hundred from the couple of early payments that took it back off on the, late, on the next payment. So, you know, so be it. But my only concern was that um, you guys might ask for a huge amount of payment each week still to clear that extra three or four hundred dollars and ninety four dollars is a huge amount. 
for an average family to pay if we're switching over. So, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to lower it any lower than that. So you guys wouldn't accept an offer of anything less? Oh, so no, if we sorry. were to give you a fair and just offer of, say, 15 or $10, you wouldn't accept that? Oh, no, sorry. Are you aware that failing to accept a, a, a honest and, and fair you know, repayment is um, makes a, a debt void? Sorry, what, what, what was that, sorry? Are, are you aware, you know, obviously a corporation doesn't have a lifespan. So Generous Tennis Energy itself, the entity, isn't going to care how long I pay off this debt, so long as it's a regular payment. So my question is, um, are you aware that failing to accept a, a fair and honest just offer to pay off a debt at an acceptable amount is, is makes a debt void? If the creditor won't accept what's being offered, it, then the debt's No, I'm not aware of that. Well, believe it or not. Yeah, like, amount. like I'll give you an example. Say there's a lady that can only pay a, um, a mortgage six months out of the year because she's a seasonal worker. All right. Uh -huh. Now, supposing those the, the the seasonal months that she's off, she just writes a nice little notice into the bank or whoever the the mortgagor is, and says I can only afford to pay say a hundred dollars a month instead of five hundred dollars a month, and and then when situations change, obviously I'll make up the extra or do whatever, that bank would have to accept that offer. No, I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, well, that's, that's basically how it works. So for me to, to, to make a fair and just offer of 10 or $15, which would be affordable for us, just because we're trying to change over to another company to save a bit of bucks, and yet, in fact, paying off that three 400 would be the savings we'd make over the first two-year period from switching over, which is, we've been told, three four $400, then that's, it really negates the whole point. It's sort of almost a, a stranglehold that the prior company has against you from switching over to the new one. So if, if we said cancel the direct debit and we just got sent a final cancelled bill of 300 or 400 from Genesis, mm -hmm. would we then not be able to make a $15 or $20 payment until that's done so? You can, but you would be, could be at risk of it getting sent to debt collection. But why would it be sent to debt collection if there's a... Because well, that full amount isn't due and it's overdue. But it wouldn't be overdue if there's a constant, if there's an a, a agreement made where there's a ten or fifteen dollars paid off to them over a length of time. We wouldn't, wouldn't agree to that, though. Why? Because we want the full amount paid off. Okay. So it seems that after three years of paying direct debit to Genesis Energy, we're sort of in a stranglehold and can't get away unless because now we've accrued this amount, we're stuck. Well, I mean, it is required to be paid, yes. Granted, and I'm just talking about the amount of payment or repayment back to you guys. And to me, do you, do you not believe that a, a $300 bill for that to say get paid over over a, a year's time isn't fair? No, no, because I mean, that, I, I don't believe that is fair either. And what's and Genesis, it's what's Gen it will be overdue. So what's Genesis Energy's terms and conditions in regards to repayments then? Okay, let me just, I'll just see if I can find those in the book here for, for you. Uh, and are you legally trained? In what? Uh, in legalese, the legal language of lawyers, are you legally trained? Oh no, yeah, I'm not, le so I'm you not, don't not understand. legally trained as a lawyer, no way. Okay, cool. Okay. It's just because to, to, under hold, okay? to, to understand terms and conditions, you've got to sort of be legally trained to understand them, because it's written at legalese. What's written in legally? It's written in legalese. It's a language that that's all contracts are written in. It's not English. It's legalese. I've got the Butterworth Law Dictionary. If you want to want me to look it up for you, but yeah, there's a different language lawyers use. That's why you need legal representation. Yeah, I, I, I don't, yeah, I know, but I'm, and I'm not lawyer trained or anything. Like exactly. That. No, so what, what, what you're talking so, about? Sorry. So what you think a word means doesn't actually mean what the legal interpretation of the word means. That's what, what I'm getting word? at. Yeah. For instance, the word person. The word person means a body corporate, unincorporated body or corporation soul in legalese. Okay. So when someone's calling you a person, which one of those three things are you? Do you get what I'm saying? No, I don't. But let me just okay. place you on hold and I'll find out about <laughs> some payments, okay? That's all right. Fine. Thank you. Leah, Genesis Energy is saying that they would only, it's muted, Genesis Energy is saying that they would accept own a minimum payment of only $94 until the debt's wiped weekly. So they would lower our 
direct credit by six dollars. We'd be giving you a fair and just offer of ten to fifteen dollars a week to clear that outstanding balance over a length of time. And she's saying that it basically they would want us to pay them the first two years savings that we're getting from the other company, you know. So my next question is going to be from them, because she's now seeking legal advice. <laughs> um, is don't, don't screw the power up. I'm not screwing the power up. My only concern is that if we pay them for the next four weeks of $94 a week, which I think she's given me an amount over a four-week payment plan, okay? That's what 94 is, 376 over a month, which is probably the outstanding balance, okay? Which means all I need to know from Trust Power is that they're going to start the AP in a month's time after we've finished paying Genesis. If they want to do that, then it's all good, fun and dandy. I'm fine with that, because then we're still going to end up saving more money, because we're getting more of a discount on the payment. Do you get what I mean? So we'll be paying $100 to Trust Power and 10 to $15 a week? No, I'm talking, no. Uh, the Trust Power, I don't know what we'd be paying them weekly. It'd be less than the 100 that we're paying these guys weekly. Um, see, that would be all questions I'd still have to ask the Trust Power check what the weekly payment would be on the direct debit to them. Do you get what I'm saying? All I want to make sure is that we're not paying $100 to one company and another $100 to another company all at the same time. So one's white and then the next one starts. Do you get what I'm saying? Or just start with trust power and make it a payment of $10 or $15 a week to these guys. But they're saying that we'll go to credit issues and stuff. I said, why would it go to credit if you're getting a continual payment each week? There wouldn't, wouldn't be any defaults because we'd be giving you a regular payment. Because I said, well, what are the terms and conditions? What's the minimum repayment? Not once have they said, oh, we'll give you a 15% discount like them, or try to keep our custom. feel like the punching bag in the middle between two companies wanting our fucking dough. Hey. I just don't want to want to make sure it's okay with you as long as we stick to a, that $100 plan that we pay each power each month, does it matter to you how I divvy that up? I guess what I'm saying. If I tell Trust Power, $15, $20 payment, or $10, $15 payment weekly until it's gone, I mean Genesis, and then $85 or whatever the difference is from 100 to the other company, do you get what I'm saying? That way it's still the same amount of outgoings. Do you get what I'm saying? At the end of the day, by the looks of it, we're not going to be changing anyway because Genesis have got our balls in a bunch if they're going to want $94 to close the account. $94 weekly, even though we're not getting anything from them. Yeah, but I mean, I just don't like the idea of, you know, because I mean, we have a Genesis smart meter. Yeah, I get that, eh? It's someone else's meter. Yeah. Okay. That's, I mean, that's my concern. Yeah, I get what you're saying, honey. Okay. Is that honey? See if you can get Genesis to give us 15%. Oh, I haven't got that far yet. I'm just having great fun with her. Battery's gone for that. Have to switch over to the camera. Mark, thank you very much for your patience. I do apologise for taking so long to get back to you. No trouble. on a monthly basis unless we agree otherwise which the agreement otherwise was on your direct debit okay so there's no other otherwise agreement in other words we can't make another agreement otherwise than a, other than a direct debit is that what you're saying you can there is i mean like there is there is the direct debit or there is what we call a payment arrangement but the mm -hmm. payment arrangement is only over um 12 weeks okay so three months is still better than one month though true yes yeah right. and that but with that, I mean, we don't know what your final bill would be if we had to um, look into that, set up the payment arrangement, um, just based on, say, your last bill mm -hmm. and the $300 now, mm -hmm. um, it would probably be working out at about 55 to $60 a week. 
from that payment arrangement over 12 weeks. That's only an estimate, of course. I can't give you an exact amount now because I don't know what the final figure will be. Well, I mean, I'm just going by, if, if you're saying it would be 94 by direct debit and it's over a monthly basis, then 94 times 4 is 376. So the balance might be roughly around $376 owing, is what I was thinking. Well, we don't know because your last bill was produced on the 8th of the 6th. That was produced and it was from, let's have a look. It was the last, yeah, it was taken on the, the last reading was on the 6th of June. So it would have from the 6th of June up to when you, when the other next retailers um, <laughs> request the property. Final it, and um, so I don't know what that final bill will be until we get that. Well, I mean, we, we, no one's moving, it's just changing companies, so there would be no new, new one taking the property or anything. What happens with the smart meter? The genesis, it's the genesis smart meter, isn't it? Uh, yes, does it yes. stay there, or is it what, sorry? does it stay there, or does it get used by the next power company? Or? Well, no, it definitely stays there and it gets used by the next power company. Whether they can remotely read it or not, I don't know. Oh, okay, it depends on them, sure. Yeah. Okay, and I, I, I take it Genesis Energy wouldn't be interested in matching their price at all, or giving us a 15% discount on direct debit as opposed to, to match them? And that's what we're asking, um, we wouldn't be able to apply that 15% direct debit, but I mean I can look into seeing if we can um, save you. Well, I mean, the, to me, the savings is monthly. They're talking $302 over a 24-month term and $100 credit on the first bill. It, 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 obviously, they're not going to send us $100 cash. They're going to do it in a credit form. So, to me, $402 divided by 24 months is less than $20 a week or a month that we'd be saving switching over. And that equals roughly the same amount of balance that we owe you guys anyway. Okay. So, would, would Genesis Energy be interested in, in well, making it um, a better deal for us to stick with you guys. I mean, I, I, when someone's ringing up saying they're going to switch over, I would have thought the best policy would have been to try and keep them as customers. <laughs> oh, that's right, yes, yeah. And there's um, what we can do, and that is, well, we definitely can look into um, seeing if we can save you, of course. Well, if you can save us a few, if you can sort of match them and save us the whole hassle of changing over, then we'll just leave things the way they are. I mean, um, I just don't, I mean, to me it's a lot of hassle and I've sort of, between myself and my wife, we'd have, we've had over six phone calls now from Trust Power in the last three days. And we're just too nice not to say stuff off. We're giving them the benefit of the doubt and she's an excellent salesperson. Got to give them points for it, eh? She's taking some hard questions from me and, and still chasing up and now ringing back at 4.30 today after I've spoken to you guys. So, you know, the ball's at play here. What, what do I do? Do I, you know, I, I, I'm just trying to get the best deal, obviously. That's all we're doing this for is to save a bit of, save a bit of money. So, I can understand that too. And that we definitely couldn't offer the 15% um, discount because ours is 10. Yep. But what I could do is um, looking into, let me just have a look here. Just one moment, can I just take an order? Of course you can. As long as it was the last time, is that no, all right? That, that's all right, it's cool music. Like. Thank okay. you. Bye. Uh, Oh, this is classic. I've now got her looking out to see what extra discounts they can give us. <laughs> No knocking Antica or whatever her name was either. She's top notch salesperson. But I mean, if she didn't push us, then I suppose I wouldn't end up being pushing these guys for a discount. So it's saving me money. So even though she's not making her company any money, still saving me money so she can sleep easy tonight. Brilliant. If you're watching this, and an, an Antica or Anita, much love to you, darling. Thirty-seven minutes. 
Lucky I don't charge hourly rates for being on the phone, eh? Let's just go and get the rates that they gave us an offer of. Mark, thank you once again for holding me. I do apologise again for having to place you on hold. That's all right. Um, Just looking here, what the wife's written down from one of the other phone calls. It says nineteen dollars fifty-seven per it unit. Be, it be oh, sorry, nineteen point five seven cents. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> she hasn't put a dollar sign there, so glad you corrected that one. <laughs> Yeah, well, the daily unit's exactly the same, $1.92. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I'd, I'd be happy to accept that one, and what, well, we just got to stick with you guys for another 12 months and be happy with the 250 credit? Yeah, sure. Well, with that also, um, I mean, you always get your prop payment, 10% prop payment discount because I've been on direct debit. That's if you want to stay on that. Oh, of course. Well, I mean, that's not going to happen, so we're quite happy to stick with Genesis. If you're happy to, to throw us a 250 credit, and we'll, oh, we'll, go, with, we'll go with that. And I'm going to say this very quietly, <laughs> so I'll also chuck in a another $50 credit. Oh, mate, you're, on top you're, of that. you're a rocker. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, that's right. Thank you so much for that, Mark. That's all right. And it's great to have you stay on board. And sorry, what was your name? Vicky. Thanks, Vicky. No, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Is there anything else that I can help you with on this account? No, no, that's fantastic. Over and above. Okay, thanks, Mark. You have See, a great day. You too. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. $300 credit. <laughs> okay, honey. I took your advice. $300 credit. <laughs> So, the power so Genesis in, and this is on the well, I've just accepted terms and conditions that we stick with Genesis Energy for another twelve months. Okay. Because okay. we don't have to do a damn thing for that to happen, and we've just got three hundred bucks in credit given to us. That's our power bill for the month gone. That's almost all of the shit that we owe them. Wiped. Three hundred bucks, man. That's three hundred bucks we just got off. 